Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome you to Mass this morning. Uh, we're offering our Mass for the repose of the soul of Gloria Coward and Frieda Joyce Baker. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. And Father Rajesh is offering Mass for a private intention. Uh, please also keep in your prayers the repose of the soul of Teresa Gilbert, whose funeral service takes place at Eastbourne Crematorium and Bexhill Cemetery later uh, today. And we'll have a requiem Mass for her tomorrow morning. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need May at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. The stream in the place where Elijah lay hidden dried up. For the country had no rain. And then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Up and go to Zarephath, a Sidonian town, and stay there. I have ordered a widow there to give you food. So he went off to Sidon. And when he reached the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. Addressing her, he said, Please bring a little water in a vessel for me to drink. She was setting off to bring it when he called after her. Please, he said, Bring me a scrap of bread in your hand. As the Lord God lives, she replied, I have no baked bread, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am just gathering a stick or two to go and prepare this for myself and my son to eat, and then we shall die. But Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you have said, but first make a little scone of it for me and bring it to me and then make some for yourself and for your son. For thus the Lord speaks, the God of Israel, jar of meal shall not be spent, jug of oil shall not be emptied, before the day when the Lord sends rain on the face of the earth. The woman went and did as Elijah told her, and they ate the food, she himself and her son. The jar of meal was not spent, nor the jug of oil emptied, just as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you release me, have mercy and hear me. O men, how long will your hearts be closed? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? 
Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. It is the Lord who grants favours to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him, do not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they had from the abundance of corn and new wine. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing, and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, many people, assuming they could get the flour, did a lot of baking during the lockdown, cakes, biscuits and bread. The people of God trust that he will always provide our daily bread, our spiritual nourishment necessary to advance in the divine life. Currently there is a fast from the Eucharist, the bread of life, and the people of God have been making spiritual communions to feed them through this period of drought. Always the people of God wish to receive the Lord with the purity, humility and devotion with which Jesus' Holy Mother received him, with the spirit and fervour of the saints. The meal that is used to nourish Elijah is not used up, and the generosity of the widow is not lost. In giving of her meagre resources, the Lord is able to magnify their effect for the benefit of his servant and people in a way that lasts. In the same way, we know that the Eucharist contains a superabundance of grace that perfects our baptism, nourishes us on our pilgrimage, gives us strength to complete our mission to which we have been called, and then bringing us safely home to heaven. Just as the tastiest food is often that which contains seasoning, so the gospel of Christ will only be appealing if it is proclaimed truthfully and with joy. Salt is a preservative, and we preserve the gospel for the next generation by handing it on, especially to our families. In a requiem mass, as the book of the gospels is placed on the coffin, the minister says, in life, he or she cherished the gospel of Christ. Did they? Did they announce it and hand it on? We hope so, because we want them to hear the words of God to them. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and share your master's joy.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and conquer heart, we accept the body and blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the angels and saints, we praise you, as with joy we proclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni Concelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Quidanit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life and, all thing, and make all things holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore O Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, St. Martha, St. Richard, 
and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. On your saints, who it all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your saints, who it all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your saints, who it all is peccata mundi. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. 
And may your healing work, O oh Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Uh, Mass uh, returns at 10 o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday. I uh, have deanery meeting uh, shortly, and then I have a funeral at Eastbourne Crematorium. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Sharita Gilbert. May turn the rest round unto her, O oh Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.